Hey guys, so I'm finally going to be doing my IMATS LA 2019 haul. Um, I've been really busy lately, so I haven't been able to record it, so let's just get started. So the first place I went to was Cinema Secrets. This, the only thing I bought from here was the makeup brush cleanser. And a couple years ago I bought the small one and I really liked it, so I got the bigger uh, 32 ounce and this one was $25. And next, I went to Morphe, and I didn't get that much stuff at Morphe. The good thing was that there wasn't a big line, so that was awesome. So I'm just going to tell you guys the prices of the things that I got. So, actually, let me just tell you what I got first. Okay, so I got two lip liners in the shade Love Bite and Frenchie. And um, I already have this one, and I just wanted to stock up. And then Frenchie is right here. It's more of a pinky tone. A lip liner and those were two dollars and then I got some brushes I got a M250 brush and it's pretty much a nose hair <laughs> and that's how thin it is okay and then I got the M562 this is a really small crease brush I also got the M521 and I really want to use this as like a packer brush and I also got the M433 brush and the M562 was $3, the M521 was $5, the, the detail liner was $2, and the M433 was $5. So I got that. Okay, so I also went to Lit Cosmetics, and the only thing I bought from there was a glitter. And this one was, is Barbie Shops, and it's a size 3. And it has like a pinky undertone to it, or reflective, pink reflective, pink reflex, yeah. <laughs> so I got that, and that one was, I think, $12. And then the other place I went to was Frankie Rose. Rose. <laughs> okay. And then I also got, I just got one thing, and it was the Frankie Rose Matte Perfection Foundation. And this one was $25. I got the shade China Silk, which is the lightest foundation they have. And I really love this foundation, so I don't know why I would just only get one. But I really like this foundation, and it was super cool because I, when I went to their booth, um, one of the PR ladies came up to me. She's like, oh, I think I know you, and I'm like, mm, I don't know, like maybe Instagram. And so I showed her my Instagram, she's like, oh, yeah, like just write down all your information, and um, we would love to send, send you some PR pro like products. I'm like, oh. Like, that was super cool. That just, like, made my whole IMATS experience. Okay, so the next place I went to was Namie's. And I went to the their booth. And then after IMATS, I went to their store because I didn't find everything at their booth. So the first thing I got was the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. And I've been wanting to get this. I was just too broke to buy it. It was it's usually 38 and I got it for... I don't know. I'll check the receipt right now. And I love it. I can't wait to use it. Like I've been, I've been dying to like buy it, but I never did. Okay, so I also got the Huda Beauty Foundation, and I got this in the shade 140. And this is seriously my favorite foundation as well. This is like my favorite full coverage foundation. Um, I got a sample of it, and I loved it. And I also got a clear brow gel from Anastasia. And also a medium brow Anastasia Brow Wiz. And I got this one for my mom. And I also got a three mini pro pack. So it has three beauty blenders. A tan or nude pink, black, and the cleanser. And I'm just going to give one to my mom and keep the rest for myself. What do I keep talking about? <laughs> and then the prices for that. So the Anastasia Brow Gel was $15.40, the Brow Wiz was $14.70, and the Beauty Blenders were $35, and the Laura Mercier was $22 instead of $38, and the Huda Beauty Foundation was $40, and I got it for $24. Like, that's a fucking steal. So, the, and then at the... I'm actually going to show you guys what I got at Lancrem. So I got this huge bag at Lancrem for spending more than $65. And the only things I got were the Bushy Brow Precision Pen. And oh my god, I've been wanting to use this for a long time too. And look how cute it is. 
Okay, so what I really liked about it was that you can like make hair strokes. And I don't really have hair in the front, so I want to make like little hair strokes. And yeah. I also bought, I bought two of each, just one for my sister. It was like her birthday present. And then I also got the Bushy Brow Stronghold Gel. And I kind of wish I didn't get the Anastasia one, just because I opened this one up. And I really like the little bristles on it. It's like super thin. Okay. And then the last place I went to was the Nami store. And it was the same discount that they had at Nami's, which was 40%. Okay, so the first two things I got were the Scandinavia uh, Bridal Finishing Spray and the Oil Control Spray. And these are my favorite. I spray this one first and then I spray this one on my T-zone. And then I mostly just got lashes from here, so let me just show you guys. Okay, so I got the Lily Lashes in Mykonos and I also got them in Miami. Like the glare and I've been wanting to buy these but I'm just too broke to pay $30 okay and then I also got my favorite lashes in sinful I got two of these I also got dark side which are also like my full glam lashes Let's see I also got flash it and I had these and I lost them at my sister's house and these are really nice. They kind of remind me of Dark Side but just less full. And then I also got another pair of Sinful. And I also got oh, uh, two of the Dolmy Ups. And this is what they usually come in. It's super cute and then you just pull it out. They just make it so difficult. But I just love the packaging of it. Okay, so I'm going to tell you guys the prices of those. At Nami's, at their store, I spent $2.63. So, uh, the Velour Lashes were $20 each. The Lily Lashes were $23 each. And the Scandinavia sprays were $23.40. So even though I spent a lot, like, I'm glad that I... It would have been a lot more expensive if I would have bought them at Sephora or something like that. So that is all I got at name, Namies. At IMATS. I wish there were more booths. I really wanted to go to Beautylish and all these other places. But they weren't there. It was, it was kind of sad because, like, I didn't want to leave IMATS until I got everything. But I hope you guys enjoyed my vlog and I hope you guys enjoyed this video as well. And I am planning to not go next year and just go to Fame Expo because someone recommended that to me. So I'll see how that works out for me. And yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys later.